In this video, we will continue with the sum of an arithmetic series. You will find this on page 55 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. How many terms in this series must be added and now to give a sum of? So it's not the last term, it's the total sum. So basically, I first determine, yes, it's definitely a AP because there's a difference of 5. So every time they add 5. Uh, and then I just fill it in and I basically just substitute it in there, in this formula. And I solve it. And now I get that N, this is a quadratic um, equation. So as soon as I factorize it, I see I get two values. But can you remember that N is the position? So N cannot be negative or a fraction, so therefore it will just be 13 terms. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number 2. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's stop. Number two. How many terms of the series this must be added to give the sum of negatives? So this is very important that you see that. So it's negative 17, negative 15, negative 13, negative 1, 2, 3. And then I'm giving you the sum. So first write down your formula. Okay, so let's start. What is the sum formula? Is in n over 2, 2a plus d bracket n minus 1. So in the place of s in, I'm going to say negative 17, n over 2, and what is a? Is negative 17. Oh, it's actually exactly the same. Did you see that? Okay, this is interesting. Okay, and D, how will I get D? It's just right. If I want to get D, it's T2 minus T1, which would have been just your brackets. Then you will not make a mistake. Which would have been negative 15 plus 17, and that's 2. Okay, and then... Now it's the, oh, I forgot that I'm looking for in. If I simplify negative 17, I'm just going to, I will now get it out. So this is negative 34. This is 2n minus 2. Now, this is actually one term, so it's over 1. So if I cross multiply, I just take this 2 and I multiply it on the other side. So I get negative 34 and then I, I get rid of the fractions. So it's n and this is negative 36 now plus 2n. And as soon as I multiply n, it's negative 36n plus 2n squared. Okay, take everything to one side and put it equal to 0. And then divide by 2. Okay, this is going to be 18 and this is going to be 17. Let's just see if I can factorize this. I think you can. So this is uh, this is in group A because of the positive. Oh, this is nice. 17 plus 1, it's 18. Signs are the same, but both is a negative. So I'm going to get... N minus 17 and N minus 1. So therefore n is 17 or n. Okay, now it's always good that you think about the answer. Is this logical? Yes, because in, in the first term, so if you just had one term, you, you, your sum total would have been negative 17. But if you continue adding up, of the 17 terms, your sum total 
will again be negative 17. So it, it's either one term or 17 terms, and I think I can just end by saying that. So therefore, one term or 17 terms will give a sum of negative 17. Okay, that's how you do it.